Good morning, Thomas Adams. Thank you to everybody who took part in the virtual sports week last week. It was a really great success and lots of you took part, which is brilliant. I now have the results. In third place is Lawley House, so congratulations to Mr Carney and Mr Fell. In second place we have Clee House, so congratulations to Mr Stokes. And in first place we have Hormond House, so congratulations to Miss Rogers and well done to Hormond and everybody who took part. The three top performers are Amy Jones in Year 9, Jed Godfrey in Year 9 and Jo Munro Year 8. Congratulations to Hormond and everybody who took part. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, take three. I've just made this video twice. Totally messed it up. Basically did that really horrible thing when old people have a phone and they video the whole thing and then they realise they didn't actually press record and that's probably because I'm going to be 40 on Tuesday, I might have mentioned it already, but I've been trying to get fit for my 40th birthday. Uh, I have achieved it, okay, so I told you that I was trying to do a uh, catch to 5k, smashed it, then went up to 10k, smashed that. My next thing was to do 5k in under 40 minutes and I've just done it now and actually I tried to record myself just at the very end, I was completely out of breath, did it twice, messed it up, third time lucky hopefully. But what I'm actually making this video for, you might be thinking, why does Miss Rogers need to talk to us again about how fit she is? I'm not fit, I'm still very unfit, but I'm getting there. The fact is, I've just smashed an amazing target. And what I'd really like to say is a massive well done to anybody who's got involved with sports challenges during lockdown, because I know that a lot of people have. But in particular, and the entire reason that I'm actually making this video is, Hormond have. Hormond have won the Sports Cup. For the first time in house history at Thomas Adams School, Hormond have won a cup and I can't tell you how happy I am. I'm gonna do a mini scream and shriek and jumping up and down and punch the air. But, and I should have my Hormond hoodie on and I haven't, the only thing I've got that's orange is my headphone cable. Got a bit of orange on there for Hormond. I can't believe that in lockdown we have managed to still excel and smash challenges and sports challenges for Hormond and I'm so proud of you for doing so. Uh, but the big thing that I wanted to say is, and I know that there will be some heads of houses teetering away going, oh yeah, but you've won it, but we didn't even have a proper sports day. Yes, and that's even better because people managed to drag themselves off the couch pull themselves away from Netflix, pull themselves away from teams and get involved with the fantastic challenges that our amazing PE department have put in place. And that is saying something. If you can motivate yourself to do things like that in lockdown without a sports teacher behind you shouting at you saying, come on, come on, get involved. Absolutely amazing. So a massive well done to everybody in Hormond everybody in our school that's got involved with these challenges but in particular 7-3 and a really big shout out to Eamon Thorley who in my form throughout lockdown has got involved with every single academic challenge sports challenge baking cakes that look like intestines running 5k for the NHS absolutely everything so a massive shout out to him but not just him everybody in the school that's got involved I think you're all absolutely amazing so well done I can't believe we've won the sports cup I think it's just wonderful there's a very very long speech I didn't get my chance on the podium on sports day might not again for for a little while well, who knows but have a fantastic summer keep working hard got one week left uh, get involved with all your activities week challenges. They're fantastic. Okay, so get involved and have a brilliant summer and stay safe Right congratulations then to Hormond what a win first time we've got the uh, orange Colours on the trophy. So that's fantastic moving on to the house trophy announcements All right, you've all done your bit getting your house points and adding um, those points together for the house totals in seventh place, a really unusual one. We've got Caradoc. They're in the past our uh, regular winners. Um, sixth place, we've got Grins Hill. In fifth place, Hawkston. Fourth place is Hormond. But in the top three then, in third place, it's Red, it's Corndon. In second place, it's Clee, meaning our winners of the House Trophy for 2020 is Lawley. Very well done. <laughs> So, Lawley, remember the first house assembly of the year? 
September 2019, we put together a strategy, what we're going to do to win the House Cup. And what have we just gone and done? We've won the House Cup. So, as a treat, I'm going to keep my promise. I've actually gone out and bought three axes. I'm going to juggle these on a unicycle on the first house assembly after we get back. Well done, Lawley. Congratulations. Thank you.